What's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to start the test. First question of the test, so we have to either evaluate or simplify each of these four expressions. So here we got the seventh root of 128 all to the power of 4. So here what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to put this as a rational exponent. So this here, uh, the seventh root of 128, we could rewrite that as 128 to the power of 1 over 7, and then all of that's going to be to the power of 4. And then 128 to the power of 1 over 7, or the 7th root of 128 is 2, and then 2 to the power of 4 is just simply 16. Now you didn't necessarily have to do this part here, you could have just took the 7th root of 128 and put 2, but I like to show the rational exponents. Number 2, we got 4 over 25 to the power of negative 3 over 2. So we have a fraction to the power of a negative exponent. What do we do then? Flip the fraction. So we've got 25 over 4 to the power of positive 3 over 2. And then from here, we can distribute that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So we'd have 25 to the power of 3 over 2 all over 4 to the power of 3 over 2. And then here we can break this down, so <clears throat> we could take 25 to the power of a half to the power of 3. So I take that rational exponent and I split it up. I put the numerator outside, then 1 over the denominator inside. Same thing at the bottom, so I'll take 4 to the power of 1 over 2, all to the power of 3. Now 25 to the power of 1 over 2 is 5, right? Square root of 25, and then 5 to the power of 3 gives us 125. And then 4 to the power of a half, or the square root of 4 is 2, and then 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Now if you plug this into your calculator, you should get 125 as well, right? You could get it right away. But again, I like to show the work of splitting up the exponents and then just doing it separately. Uh, we got the square root of 625 and then the square root of that. So what we can do the inside square root we could change to 1 over 2, then the outside square root we could change to 1 over 2 as well. Right? Taking the square roots, changing them to rational exponents, then here we can multiply these exponents. We'll have 625 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that is 1 over 4. Then what's the fourth root of 625? It's just equal to 5. And we could have got that answer right away here as well. Square root of 625 is 25, and then the square root of 25 is just 5. But again, I like to break it down a little bit further with rational exponents. And then number 4, we got 1 over the square root of d times 1 over c to the negative 1, and that's all to the power of negative 1. So here, what I'm going to do is notice this c to the negative 1. I'm going to bring that up. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first simplify the inside bracket, and then I'm going to deal with that outer exponent. So I'm going to bring this c to the negative 1 up. So basically, we'll have 1 over root d to the power of c to the power of positive 1, right? Because I brought that up. And then that's going to be all to the power of negative 1. Then notice these two, we can multiply together. So 1 times c to the power of 1 is just c. And then square root of d times 1 is just square root of d. And this is all to the power of negative 1. And then here, we could just flip this fraction. So this would be root d all over c. So that there is the answer for number 4. So not too bad, just basically dealing with exponent rules and rational exponents.